Um, we are from Lisa Legacy Productions, an art um, theatre company that has been in existence for the past two years. Um, we've um, done a number of projects, including stage plays, uh, training. We've organised training camps. I mean, acting training camps to be specific for theatre lovers who would love to be featured in movies, uh, stage plays, and all. And um, the response has been very positive. In fact, the company is gradually growing, and we have a lot of activities that we would want to pursue in the coming months. Um, the potential is very bright, especially for those of us in this part of um, Africa, Ghana to be specific. And, uh, we look forward to having a lot of partners to move in so many areas, use theatre to um, solve a lot of the issues that we are confronted with as a continent, as Africa, as Ghana, as a uh, society, the ones of us. I'm Kojo Wachi Wodu, the general manager, and uh, with me is the director of the company, um, it's Louis Lamis. Right. So don't mind him. Um, I also tell you who I am. I am Louis Lamis, the director of Laser Legacy Productions. Um, we have seen the need um, to do the things we're doing now because we realize that theater is a very great and wonderful instrument to educate, to inform, to inspire, and to train people. And so we decided um, that we, with the challenges we are content um, has, we will use theater to address them. Um, because sometimes it is difficult to push some messages to some people, but when you use theater, it sticks with them and they don't even know that they learn it from it. So we choose the instrument theater. Um, and doing theatre in our part of the world is a bit challenging because theatre is seen to be um, a thing of luxury even though it is embedded in our culture it is still seen as a, a thing of luxury so why would somebody who is not getting a three square meal a day want to spend some money to go and watch theatre yeah. and again doing theatre in our country is extremely expensive for a company like ours a, a, a young and a small scale company because one in that part of the world, we do not have theatres, um, large auditoriums built to host theatre shows. And so what we do is that we rent um, normal auditorium conference halls and things like that. And then we have to yes, improvise and convert them into um, theatre uh, um, auditoriums. And so it is extremely expensive, one, to rent a hotel to use. And the capacity of these hotels are not enough. Um, for you to even able to to charge enough to be able to offset the cost of the production of stuff. And so it hasn't been easy for this past two years. And, but we are hopeful because of the impact that we are making in the country. And we know that gradually people are beginning to recognize what we are doing. And gradually we believe that we'll get the partners that we need to make this the work. Um, one of our projects uh, which we are looking up to initiating in 2016, uh, this very year, uh, is dubbed the uh, Street Theatre. And it is a very key project that we would want uh, partners or people who love peace and who think that the survival of the nation Ghana is very crucial for the growth of the entire um, continent and the, the world to be specific because at least we feed the world with some raw materials. Um, this street theatre is supposed to shape the minds of the youth. You know, for, I mean, research has proven that the youth, I mean, people would always want to exploit the youth, especially I mean, the unemployed. Yeah, and especially because there's a lot of unemployment in, in our, our country. country yeah. and, uh, on our country. Yeah. So, and, and politicians and people who would want to go to any extent to get power would always want to exploit the youth to um, uh, win power. And that is why we think that if we can, in a way, create employment for the youth, and at the same time use that medium of employment to um, let people be aware of the need for peace in our country, 
then of course we'll be making a lot of headway. Uh, that is all about the street here that we are going to recruit a lot of the youth, train them, give them um, some form of employment because at the end of the day we are going to use them to stage drama, short um, theater, short drama at various points across the country, in the length and breadth of the country, to educate people about the 2016 election of the nation. Ghana. People may want to know why we think that um, election 2016 is very crucial. I, I, I think that um, even for us as a company and with the theatre that we're doing and then realising and acknowledging the fact that people have, we, we have to set up a, um, the traditional theatre for people to pay and come and watch. Um, Occasionally, with the patronage we get, we get the cream de la cream, people can afford, people who um, are in the high standards of society paying to come and watch. But what about the general masses, the people who are fickle-minded, people who can easily be influenced by these politicians? Yes. That is why we have decided to create a theatre, the street one, and take it to them wherever they find themselves. And so we are taking the street from the uh, traditional confines, traditional settings, and we are taking to them on the street. And then about the, the, the reason why we think this election is extremely crucial and therefore needs the support that we, and needs the attention that we want to give it, is because um, we are coming from uh, the history and the background of elections in our country, that in, on this continent and in our part, let me say the West Africa, yes. um, Ghana has been the torch bearer of democracy. And, Last four years, when we had our election, national elections, we had some challenges. Um, the major opposition felt that the elections were rigged, and, and so they, they, took it to court. they took it to court. And for almost a year, um, there was this battle in court, and the judiciary eventually decided that uh, yes, they had the opposition had no case. Then comes um, the sudden revelations in our judicial system that. A lot of these issues, uh, a lot of these cases that go to court are um, a lot of these revelations that there are bribery and then judiciary is corrupt. Yeah. Uh, not just the ruling party, I'm um, sorry, the opposition, but the ruling party as well. In case they lose, um, would they be able to trust the judgment of um, our honorable judges if they should take the case to court? Um, yeah, that is also, and then the key thing is do they even want to lose? Um, they have so much at stake and they don't want to lose and they'll do everything within um, their power to keep power. And then the opposition to want to do everything within their power to snatch power away from the uh, ruling party. And who, the, the people, the puppets they use in enforcing these philosophies and these ideas are the youth. And that is why right from the get-go we have to let them know that they cannot be puppets. They cannot be used to create riot create confusion, to create conflict. They, and one, you see, um, there's this proverb that says that um, the devil finds work for the idle. So can we find work for them to do? Can we engage them? Can we get them to do things that are beneficial to their society and at the same time get paid? And I think that is where we come in with this project and we are soliciting for help, support, funds um, to get this thing done. Can we get partners who will say that yes, we're going to make, we are going to make provision, money, finances available so that these people uh, will go out there and do these free shows on the street to educate their colleagues, their peers, because people listen to them yes, more. Yes, yes. Because if it, I am your equal, I'm one of you and I come to speak, they listen more. So this creative way of educating people and informing, informing them is what we want to use and at the same time they get paid. Yes, um, even though there's a legacy, as a small company and um, hasn't grown that much in terms of revenue, in terms of finances. We have over the years tried to raise some uh, little amount to pay people that we employ, uh, people that we have trained to be part of uh, theater production and stage plays. And um, as I indicated, it, there is a very big opportunity and if we are able to get partners who would voluntarily support us to get a lot of this youth, they will be able to pay them better. And I don't think that um, if they have a gainful means of employment, any politician will be able to convince them to do what they naturally would want to do. And then the, 
the opportunities for employment are great and enormous because beyond the street theatre that we are about to embark on, already we do the traditional theatre, stage theatre, um, our traditional comedy shows. Um, we have two radio shows. Um, we have the PM show on Love FM and we have the Agrome on Insura FM. Hosted every week. Yeah, so, um, these are all projects that we have and these are all big projects that can employ a lot of the youth. And so, if we open it up, and we can spread on, there are over 30 radio stations in Kumasi alone and all these need content, all these radio stations need content and we have the capacity to train people and create content for these radio stations. So the key thing now comes to, can we find the resources to employ these people and engage them to do this? And that is why we are coming to you uh, because we believe that you have the capacity to help us to build a very sustaining company that employs um, a large number of the youth, uh, that empowers them to be independent and to contribute their product to the development of Africa. Uh, we look forward to hearing from you, uh, receiving support from you, um, so we could move our nation, the continent of Africa and the world forward um, in peace and in um, a very democratic environment. There is yet another project and that is Students Drama Festival which we are looking at launching within this very particular year. Bring all the talents within our various secondary schools together. Let us see what they can do and encourage them with funds, encourage them to pursue whatever God has placed within them to pursue. So we come to you for a financial support and uh, we hope that you will not relent in your efforts uh, at helping us. The most important thing in all of this for us is not just about the employment we create, it's not just about the, uh, the, 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 the jobs we're able to create, but it is also about can we as Africa, can we as an African country, can we as Ghana create and assure the rest of the world that there can be peace, that one country can have the democracy that it has, protect it with all it can and all it has, and make sure that it stays and inspires other countries on the African continent to pursue the same thing. And that is key for us. And we do not want our politicians and our politicians, I call them politicians because that's what they are. We don't want these politicians to abuse and to exploit the unemployed youth to destabilize our country. And so we come to you as a well-meaning citizen of the world to come to our aid, help us raise some funds to employ and engage these people. Not only that, but to go to the corners of our country to educate them about the need for peace and the need to keep our country together, united, to produce good goods and services to produce, to produce goods and services to satisfy the world.